All righty, so we are back on this episode of At TT's House Podcast. I want to talk about something. I feel like it's very important because I feel like I've dealt with this in the past. And um, I think a lot of women are dealing with this. I, so did I tell you about there's a page on Facebook where women can uh post men and say hey do you know this person uh, have you messed with this person okay so you heard about yeah, it yeah we got some pages like that men got pages like that too. oh really would they post women yeah it's called is this your girl <laughs> what <laughs> well that's what it's called on um for the men the world is this your man are you dating this man yeah, or something like, something like that <laughs> i've dated him or something like that which i think is awesome because the sad thing is that you might see your man on there, mm-hmm. which is like, I can only imagine. You were scrolling through the page. I was. Let's see if you've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I seen anybody I knew. That you know here. Yeah. Sad thing is that, can I say this though, before we get started? Somebody said, I said, I want you to come on my podcast. And they said, oh no. They said, oh, it, okay. So it's somebody that kind of propositioned me. So I was like, hmm, okay. And then he said, I'm kind of scared to go out with you because you might have me on your podcast. <laughs> you might talk about me on your podcast. And I was like, what? Why would I do that? Never. But I am about to talk about something. So. I don't know, but this website is kind of like women post up. But I'm going to tell you, the women are harsh on that page. Oh, yeah, too. I imagine. Okay? Very harsh. And some women, you're not supposed to tell the men that they're being displayed on here. And some of y'all go back and tell. And I don't think that that's fair for you to do that. The whole purpose of this page is to see if your man is cheating. Because when I tell you I look at this page, and there's men cheating all over the nation, <laughs> it's not just Atlanta. I mean, these men are everywhere cheating. Like, why do you... To me, it seems like there is a major issue with cheating men. Uh, so on your page, is there a lot of cheating women? Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's the same, it's probably the same amount. Oh, my God. One for one ratio. Because <laughs> I'm like, to me, it's like, why do people... You don't have to be in a relationship. So if you're going to feel like you're out here cheating, I always say go cheat in peace. Even though it's going to hurt that you're letting someone go that you love and that you've had an intimate relationship with and you love this person, but it's peaceful to know that you're not being cheated on. And I think a lot of women and men, I'm going to say men and women because there's two different pages, one for men and one for women, that it's the same. Who wants to be cheated on? When you don't have to be in a relationship. Sometimes the person that you're trying to break up with don't want to let you break up with them. So you just got to do what you want to do. They're, they get, they cheating on themselves. They're the reason they get cheated on because they won't allow you to be by yourself. Because I've seen a lot of that too where somebody tries to break up with somebody and then the person is just not allowed, you know. How does somebody not allow you to break up? Because ain't nobody ever going to say to me, you're going to be with me. And or else, or else, <laughs> yeah. man, fuck you. Look, they're gonna be crying. And that, and stuff no, and no, 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 we're not gonna have none of that. No, no, no. You break up with somebody if you don't want to be with them. I don't give a damn if they cry or not. They you have to, you, you have to yourself. have your own, you gotta have your own self peace. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I was, I, it's got to be a reason that women as well as men cheat on the person that because you to me. You cannot possibly love me or I cannot possibly love you and cheat on you. Because I feel like if I love you, I love you and I'm committed and I cannot, I cannot cheat. Do you feel like you're you're looking at me strangely? Do you feel like you can cheat on somebody you love? Who's your Hollywood crush? Oh my God, my Hollywood crush? Okay, I probably got like two. So if they was to come... If you was to run into them while you was just in Miami and you was in a relationship, and they're like, I would definitely not mess with them. Okay, okay, well. <laughs> definitely not. But I got two Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. Now, little baby, I might. 
<laughs> See, look. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I wouldn't because I feel like I love the person that I'm with. So it's like I would. Now, I've been in relationships where I did not love that person. And yeah, I would cheat. And see, look, some people, a lot of people are in that point of the relationship. But you're not being honest with yourself. And you're not being honest with your partner if you don't love them enough not to be faithful. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for me, I feel like some men might have issues like they, they say girls have daddy issues i feel like men have mommy issues too and we don't we probably see more women with daddy issues than we see men with mommy issues what do you think about that yeah, you know true. and when i would say mommy issues it's like you either had too much parenting from your mother or too little parenting and she was not there mm -hmm. you know in your early years and you have this i feel like men that cheat on women and because of these mommy issues is that you hated your mom, so you really hate the women that you're with. And that's why you treat them that way. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, their mother wasn't around. There, you know, it could be a lot. Same, it's the same exact thing. There's women with daddy issues, men with mom. Yeah, because they're, they're not around. You find it difficult to build relationships or uh, not even relationships, to build healthy relationships yeah. with your partner. Because of the issues that you're, you're not trusting your 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 spouse or I mean your, your girlfriend or the person that you're with, that's on men and women's side. It can yeah, be you a don't man know how or woman. Love properly because you weren't loved properly. You don't understand how to treat a woman because a woman didn't show you how to treat a woman. Right. Didn't tell you. I think know. that's very important. Yeah. A mother needs to teach her sons how to treat women. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How to love a woman. How to respect a woman. You know what I'm saying? That is very important. I feel like if your mom is absent, because I feel like your grandmother could have been raised you too, but I feel like when grandma steps in, grandma's tired. Yeah. Grandma don't got time to teach you how to love a woman. Now some might, but sometimes in cases with men, I think we have a lot of broken men out here. Yeah. You know that either, you know, I feel like for for women, their fathers are the most important figures in their lives, and for for men, women are. The mother is. You know what I'm saying? The mother is your most important figure in your life um, that shows you emotional support. Dads don't give you the emotional support that your mom does. Mm -hmm. The love, your mom hugs you and creates an atmosphere of, um, you know, showing you a lot of love. Um, I think that's important because, like you said, men don't know how to love their partners because they didn't know, they didn't get that love from their mom mm -hmm. and lack that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a lot of men, I feel like it creates a cheating atmosphere for men too. Men that can't relate to being loved by their mothers, they can't relate to loving the women that they're with, so they're out here promiscuously messing around with a whole bunch of women. Because they don't understand what love is. You they say. don't understand what love is. Or maybe they're looking for it's love. It's toxic. Or they're looking for love. Mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like... Um, the cheating in the relationships comes from... Um, because you can like your dad too. You might have just had your mom and maybe both of your parents weren't in the household. Mm -hmm. You know, so you never learned how to be a man and really a man. You never seen your dad love your mom or hug your mom or kiss your mom. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in a household where I think that's probably where I, why I'm more affectionate. Because I grew up in a household where my father was an alcoholic and he used to beat on my mom. Mm -hmm. So I never, all I seen was abuse. And I never seen love. So for me, showing love is more important. You know, it's very, very important. Yeah, because you know how it made you feel when you when I seen the abuse. Idea. Yeah, the abuse, man, that's like that's crazy. You know, being abused, it that's like seeing your parent that you love being abused by somebody. You know what I'm saying? That was detrimental to my to my womanhood. Mm -hmm. Because I wouldn't let no man beat on me. You know what I'm saying? Never. You ain't gonna beat on me. We gonna fight about it. <laughs> and that probably ain't the best solution either. Is he fighting with man about it? But nah, that's not what you're gonna do. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. 
And there's a lot of women out here that are in relationships that are abusive because that's what they've seen and they think it's normal yeah. and it's okay. Yeah. That's not okay. You know, I don't know. It's crazy to me because I feel like um, a lot of men that lack love are needy in a sense. Not really needy that I feel like they ex their expectations of the women that they're with is very high, but the women can't have a high expectation of them because they're, it's very low. Why is that though? I just think because they think that they are, I, I, I feel like some men out here feel like they're the prize. The woman is the prize. Why do y'all feel like y'all are the prize? I think I'm the prize. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Why I think do you that I'm that? mad different than normal guys, so. You go deal with that or you come over here and have a peaceful, A peaceful home. relationship. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I feel like um, that's true too. Yeah, I'm the prize. If you want, um, you want somebody to help you wash your window sills and clean the spider webs. And that's you. <laughs> You're gonna do that stuff. Yeah, I got you. Well, that's 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 good. <laughs> and those guys that lack the love from their mom, they expect their spouses to be their mother, or their girlfriends to be their mother, or treat them that the way that they feel their mom should have treated them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sounds like a uh, heavy task to put on anyone. Yeah, it is. I feel like, you know, sometimes those kind of men don't know how to take accountability. They don't know how to um, effectively, it, they, it's so many trust issues that they just, it just comes to the surface. You know what I'm saying? They don't trust the women because their mom wasn't there, so they feel like the woman, if she's not doing something, that creates a big trust issue mm -hmm. in the partnership. You know what I'm saying? So who's to blame for that? Is it the mother or is it the, the guy for even putting that expectation on a woman? I feel like the guy putting the expectation on the women, on the woman. Well, and he that's tells what, her that he has, like he, you know, tells the person and then she still, she knows what she get into and she still signs up for that. Yeah, because some women will. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So then you yeah. can't fall in that situation. I think because women naturally want to be submissive and um, and really, if they really want to be with you, they'll, they'll, they'll fold a little bit. You know, they'll give a little bit to be in the relationship. But sometimes you can't do that because the person's expectation of, like I said, some people have high expectations of their partners, but their expectation, the partner cannot expect anything from them. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. And it just seems in this era today, it's so many men out here cheating, or maybe because I'm on this page and I see it, <laughs> but it's just so many men out here cheating. Like, what is the problem? What are y'all lacking? What is it? Because women can cheat too. Can probably cheat a lot better than you. It's because y'all posting all these thirst traps. Y'all just keep our mind wandering. It's like, <laughs> all this is out here. So then be by yourself and you don't have to worry about that, right? What do you think about that? Just, if you know that you are the person that cannot be faithful, mm -hmm. why not just stay by yourself? Yeah, or be in an open relationship. Or find someone that wants to be in an open relationship. Yeah, There's women out here that will do it. Yeah, yeah. Ethically non-monogamous, you know. I feel like a the mom's not being there for these gentlemen, or even the dad's not being there for their daughters. It creates a level of insecurities. So why do you think women cheat then? I think women cheat because they feel neglected. I feel like maybe they don't feel really neglect is probably one of the biggest reason women freaking cheat on men. Really, because a woman, I've heard many of people that I know, girls, women that I know, I'm going to say women that I know, say that sex is not important, that they're a provider, that they prefer someone who's a provider and care about sex. They don't, it don't have to be great. And I was just like, what? Because that's crazy. But I've had a lot of, my girlfriends say that. They don't care about the sex. Mm -hmm. I think maybe it was more important earlier on, maybe yeah. in the early yeah. years. Yeah. But now as you mature, women over 40, 45, that's not as important. It's being, it's being able to, to live with somebody, you know, somebody that you love and just 
you know, living with them and, and having a future with them. I believe that um, women cheat because they're neglected. They need, women need to feel wanted and appreciated. Feel, they don't feel appreciated sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you take advantage of your situation. You know, I, I don't know. I, that's what I feel. I mean, even for myself being in a relationship with somebody who owns their own business, like sometimes I feel like neglectful, like he's neglectful. You forget I can get somebody else because I can. You're not pouring into a relationship. A woman needs to see that a man is pouring into a relationship. And I feel like if you're out here entertaining other people, you're not going to pour into anything because you're too busy. You're being stretched thin. You know what I'm saying? You're here, you're there, you're there. That's not gonna work. I feel like you're lacking emotional, you're not giving the woman the emotional stability that she needs. What do you think, you ever had anybody cheat on you? Not that I know of. Mm -hmm. Not that I know of. They did, sorry for them. Oh. There's, it's funny because we talked about, um, you know, there's three levels of attachment mm. in a relationship. What are the three levels? So it's, it's called um, attachment theory. So just babies are born with the need to attach to their primary caregiver. This bond is usually formed with your mother. So think about that. Um, according to the attachment theory, there are two main types of attachment along with several subtypes. So one is secure attachment. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an adult attachment style. It is remarkably congruent with childhood attachment style. Um, it's when your mother is able to meet most of your physical and emotional needs from the get-go. So that's a secure attachment. You're, your mother is meeting your emotional needs. Mm -hmm. Then there's under the secure attachment, there's um, insecure attachment. Wow. And it says your mom was physically or emotionally absent or showed up sometimes, mm -hmm. but not always. So right. that created an in insecure attachment. Wow. And then there's anxious attachment which is under, falls under insecure attachment, suggests your mother was sometimes available or inconsistent in her affection or struggled to provide support when stressed or caught in her own, up in her own issues. That is so funny because sometimes I do that to Carlos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so stressed out. I'd be like, get away. I, Carlos, not right now. I'm trying to work. I'm just stressed. You know, I'd be so stressed and it cr creates an anxiety in me which I also push off on him sometimes. You know what I'm saying? That's terrible. Now that I'm reading this, I'm like, oh, I create the same atmosphere. <laughs> then there's avoidant <laughs> attachment, which is under. So you have under insecure attachment, you have anxious and avoidant attachment. And avoidant attachment is when you're ignored or treated harshly. Mm. Wow. Now these are attachments that can spill over to your relationships. Yeah. You know, and you develop these attachments prior to your relationship and then your partner has to deal with it. Has to deal with your inability to communicate, your inability to be affectionate. You know what I'm saying? You're distant. It's funny because, oh my God, it's so funny because the person that I, a person that I used to date, mm -hmm. this was him. Like, lack of communication, distant when there was an argument, instead of communicating, it would be like, he'd just be distant and just stay away for like a week. No call, no show, no nothing. And I would be like, all right, it's just over with. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody should have to deal with a distant person, a person's inability to communicate. These are the things that draw you to go cheat because there's no communication with the person that you're with because you don't know how to communicate. Yeah, 
but you'd rather start over with someone else and have the same fucking problems. Because I'm going to tell you, the problem just is nothing. It's circular. You know what I'm saying? It just keeps going and going. It's just happening with different people. I have, um, I go distant and don't be know how to communicate when I be depressed though. It's just because I just don't. It's even, depression. Yeah, I don't even know myself would be taking me there. So I don't even want to talk to nobody. I won't answer my phone for a couple days. But it's just. But it's not because you're mad at your yeah, yeah, partner yeah, yeah, or anything no like that. It's just yeah. a depressive it's just state. Like, that I don't you're know in. how to handle I don't know why I'm feeling like this and then I disappear. And I know that's something I try to work on. But it's just also, I just want to be alone in them times, you know? I just feel like it's so crazy because we don't realize as parents how we treat our children really affect them in adulthood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It becomes difficult for them. Some people can't take rejection. There's men out here that can't take rejection. And as soon as a woman rejects them, you're a bitch. I mean, I see the things on this page and I see the men's responses to the women saying, no, you can't come over to my house. And they're cussing them out and stuff like that. I'm like, where does this ag aggressive behavior come from? What, the guys that are being called out for cheating, you're saying? No, yeah, on this page, like the women sometimes post things like conversations with, oh, men, they've had with, men, yeah. with men. And they're like, this man is aggressive or a manipulator or, and, it, and I see it, but it's because this man, some people just need therapy. Mm -hmm. There's so many men out here manipulating women, and there's manipulative women too. I'm not saying that there's not. There is. I'm just talking from a woman's perspective. There are a lot of men out here manipulating women to use them. And I don't know if they use these dating sites as a form of being able to reach multiple women. And they're not serious with any of them. You know what I'm saying? They're just using a couple of women. What do you think about that? Do you think so? I want to know because that's not what I use the dating sites for. But it is definitely a, a open ocean for that to occur. Just based on how many people are on there. You know, they want to know. There's no way that they would know. Who are you talking to? Because it doesn't show who you've matched with. It doesn't show friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they want to know who you've been. Right. It doesn't show. With. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's damn truth. Because I swear on this website, the women like, oh, he and my DMs too. Oh, he and my DMs too. Oh, he and my DMs. It's so sad. But so what's wrong with that when you're trying to date though? Now I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. When you're trying I to think date, that these. Awesome. I think sometimes the women. I hate to say this because I'm a woman. Is that y'all are prematurely seeking advice from women. Why can't a man reach out? Because I'm going to tell you. If I'm on the website, I'm talking to about 20 of y'all. Yeah, I'm talking to anybody that DM me. What yeah. you want? And the first one to say you want to go out on a date, I'm going. Mm -hmm. Because that's what you're supposed to be doing when you're dating. That's what I'm saying. It was wrong and so that. you become one with someone. And who is rushing into that? Nobody. Yeah. Let's have fun and just... Why is it not okay for these? They coming on. I've been talking to him for two weeks. Shut the hell up and sit down. It's bullshit. And if you're not that mature, you're just dumb. And if she falls for the gas, if you fall for the gas, not even it's on you. Yeah, that means you know what I'm saying. Yep. That means she ain't got daddy issues, right? You have to wait, man. You have to be aware of your. It's called self awareness. Mm -hmm. To the bullshit. Don't fall for it. That's it. Because there's been times, you know, where I've been dating somebody and I'd be like, okay, I know this is bullshit. But you try to give them a chance because you're thinking, all right, this person, you've asked for transparency. I've asked you for truth. I've asked you to be transparent about what you got going on. Because there's no reason to lie to anybody. Just be truthful. Because I know when I come into meeting somebody, hey, everybody got somebody. Coming into this. Yeah, I got somebody. What about you? I, obviously, it's not serious because I'm entertaining you at the same time. Like, at the same time, I know. When I was the last person I dated, I'm going to say a couple years ago, I, when I first met him, I was like, I'm seeing, I'm dating, so I'm seeing about five people. I'm not sleeping with all five, but I'm, I'm d definitely dating them. I definitely ain't cooking five days a week. Yeah, she said I'm taking gifts from five And people. I'm taking gifts. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So... 
you know, you just have to be honest. I think if there was more honesty in dating, then no one would be posted on these pages. Yeah. These pages wouldn't even be in effect today if people were just honest about their situationships and what they got going on. You know, a lot of people are just not honest about it. And I think for me, I think it's sad because you make it toxic when you come in with a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of lies. Some of these men be damn in 10 year marriages and out here dealing with three and four women. As a wife, I can't even imagine going on a website and seeing somebody post my husband. That's crazy. This social media got y'all fucked up. First of all, I would never go on there to even say, that's my husband. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be too embarrassed. Yeah, I mean, but a lot of people say anonymous, though. They mm, stay anonymous. They don't. As far as who's posting the... Yeah, about who's posting stuff. Mm. They'll be like, it's anonymous. Because y'all definitely don't want nobody to know that you've been dumb. But we've all been dumb. You know what I'm saying? All of us had dumb moments. We've all had bad moments. You definitely need to see or explore, you know, um, healthy boundaries with people. You need to, if things don't seem right, just let it go. And let that person go about their business. Because I think we all see red flags. Listen, this is all I'm saying from my perspective. If you feel like somebody's gaslighting you, you feel like you have internal issues, go seek a counselor. Go get a therapist to help you. Um, they can't diagnose that you got mommy or daddy issues, but at least they can help you they acknowledge. Diagnose. They can't diagnose the... So I don't know that you have that is childhood. I mean, not really. Now, a psychiatrist can. Oh, okay. But the therapist won't diagnose you with childhood trauma. They might say you have childhood trauma, but what they will help you do is talk through the toxicity, help you talk through the effects of what you went through as a child, how that strains you, and why you're. Relationship today, relationships today are not working. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you have to look internally. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we, you know, sometimes we don't look at, I think people are afraid to acknowledge that they have maternal and paternal issues. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, they don't have good attachment styles because they've been let down by their parents. And that's, you have to work that out because it's obvious that it goes from relationship to relationship to relationship. Some people don't have healthy relationships because of it. You know what I'm saying? So you need to definitely go talk to someone a therapist can help you with that. That's my advice to you. You want it to develop a secure and stable relationship with somebody without all of this bullshit in the middle, go talk to a counselor. Figure out how you can be a better partner. And go, if you love somebody and you're with them and you're creating this toxic relationship, both of y'all go to counseling. You know what I'm saying? Because it might help to have couples counseling you know, with the therapist to help you guys kind of deal with some of these issues and maybe help, like I said, help you acknowledge that you do, maybe you both have maternal and paternal problems. Yeah, see who's right or wrong. Who's right or wrong, services. exactly. Go see a counselor. Definitely, I think it's, it's healthy. I think that um, if you want to have a better attachment to your partner, the best thing you can do for your romantic life is invest in getting help. Okay, so that's from TT um, for this segment of uh, at TT's House podcast.